Hello, Love52. Here we are, Thursday of the 13th week of love and spreading love, talking about love. And I'm just glad to be a part of it with you. So thanks for being a part of this with me, or us. We're all doing this together. You know, this week we've been talking about communication. You know, healthy, effective communication perpetuates and promotes love. It's a way of spreading love, communication is. And love plays a role in healthy, effective communication. So I shared with you this week, my three C's for effective communication, healthy communication, concentration, comprehension, convey, or concentrate, comprehend, convey, however you want to use it in the sentence, you know, and we can spread love in so many ways. And sometimes we don't realize that our communication is one of those ways. And it doesn't mean saying love, it's demonstrating it, right? And so when I give my concentration, I'm giving idea. And if I give it because I've decided the person or the people are important, I am loving. And then I can convey that I understand, that, I, that I'm getting to know them. I can convey and share that I've been listening and paying attention concentrating I can convey that I love them and so communication is huge what complicates it is kind of our goals when we have conversations there's three types of conversations I've decided that we have agree disagree whatever change the titles that I give you that's fine I've decided we either have a discussion an argument or a fight. Change the titles, I don't care. The goal, my goal, determines which one I'm going to have. And your goal determines which one you will have. And here's what I mean by that. The goal of a discussion is for me to understand you. If you understand me, great. If you don't, oh well, because my goal is to understand you. If your goal is the same, oh, we're gonna have such effective and efficient conversation. We can agree to disagree on something and mean it with no tension remaining. We can come to a mutual agreement. We can actually compromise, not sacrifice. And there's no tension involved because the goal is to understand you and yours is to understand me and we work together and it's basically loving, right? No tension remaining. This goal of an argument, well, if my goal becomes I need to make my point, I need to get my opinion heard, I need my feelings or opinion understood, I need you to agree with me, we're gonna have an argument, or at least I will. I'll be worked up emotionally I'll be expecting you and wanting you to agree with me. And if you don't, I'm going to bring into this conversation, well, just into this argument, irritation, frustration, agitation. Because the goal is to be heard, understood, and agreed with. And usually it's all three. And we get irritated and agitated because we feel we're not being heard. And we say things like, I just wish you would listen and understand me. And I think the real sentence is, I wish you would listen and understand me so you would agree with me. I think that's the real sentence in an argument. How do arguments get resolved? Well, typically they don't. They come to an end. You know, one of us finally says, whatever, I agree. And we say it sarcastically so you know we don't mean it. Nobody really feels satisfied at the end of an argument. You know, we might say we agree to disagree but we both know we don't mean it. We just don't want to continue it anymore, so it's over. But the tension remains, and that tension complicates our relationship, and therefore it complicates love. The goal of a fight is to be right. It's just more intense because there's ego and pride involved, and you know we're more insistent, and we feel like we just have to fight it, and, 
I need to hear that you get me and that you know I'm right. And nobody's ever satisfied at the end of fights. Because if I tell you, oh, you're right, you're going to doubt that I mean it. Maybe because I say it in a way that, that acknowledges I don't mean it. Or, or maybe because, you know, we're so worked up that we just don't believe. So here's what I want you to do. Have a conversation with somebody and go into it with the goal to understand them. If you have that goal, you will have to concentrate. You will have to try and comprehend and, and you'll see it can be more relaxing than an argument because you will not be bringing in negative emotion to it. So have a good day and try and enjoy a conversation with somebody, whether you have the same or different opinions. Have the goal be to understand them. Love will be in there. Love will be a part of it. We're spreading love. Take care. I'll talk to you tomorrow.